What's up guys, it's your boy Retro88 and today I'm um, just gonna do a brief update to what's going on here in the UK um, due to this COVID-19 pandemic outbreak um, so far um, it hasn't been controlled um, there are so many deaths um, going around over the media um, and obviously a lot of people are not following the UK government guidelines of doing the self-isolation, um, social distancing. So there are still stubborn people out there who are still not understanding the protocol on why we have to do this. Um, you know... Um, that's how it is like um, what can I say um, we as human beings are born this way we we break the rules we don't follow we do our thing and then when it gets worse worse come to worse then that's that's when you would feel like ah oh, crap you know I should have I should have done that you know all these regrets coming along um, it's a it's a typical lifestyle being a being a human being um, so yeah but as um, as part of the NHS workforce um, I stay at work for all of you so please do your part and cooperate with us in order to save more lives because the more you go against this um, UK guidelines in regards of controlling this COVID-19 you know um, pandemic outbreak you are making it worse not just for yourself but to other people so there are you know a lot of pictures going on over the media people are still going to park um, in a group of people and completely ignoring what's been happening in today's society come on wake up you need to wake up this isn't a joke because once this coronavirus hit you and you catch it you don't want to go to that you know position because what's gonna happen you're gonna be alone all the way through if you catch this virus and then your symptoms gets worse you're going to be taken to the hospital you'll be on your own um, there'll be like no families relatives or anyone from your loved ones can visit you contact you and you'll be so critically ill that you your only you know option is you know I want to survive I want to breathe normally I need to you know overcome this but that's the worst case scenario so please people cooperate with us because we're giving ourselves you know our dedication our commitment our duty of care and obviously being in the front line of the NHS organ organization we, we are doing our job it is our responsibility to help you so help us too you know give and take in it so guys again open up your ears you know expand your understanding and please obey what the UK government guidelines told us to do you know this is not a normal lifestyle anymore and the more you break the rules, the longer it will take for us to get to get over this whole coronavirus, you know, problem. And of course, you wanna protect your families, your loved ones, your children. It's the same for us. You know, we go to work, we think our own families, you know, our partners, our siblings aunties and uncles you name it 
we have families of our own too. But we we're, we're doing you a favor. You know, protecting you guys and being you know you know like it's like going to a war where you don't know what's coming to you, you know? Every day at work, you don't know. We don't know. Anything can happen. And one thing for sure, in order for you guys to be more in control in managing the current situation with regards to, you know, facing your face, anxiety, worries about coronavirus, my advice for you guys is just pray. You don't have to be religious or you don't have to have religion in order to connect with God. As simple as that. Everyone knows God, you know? If you know Jesus, you know God. I'm not here to preach, but I'm just like spreading the word, the wisdom, the God's words of wisdom. So pray, 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 and pray, and just be positive. Don't get caught up with too much media talk, um, the news, the numbers of deaths, the numbers of, you know, um, confirmed, suspected coronavirus patient case or cases. Just focus on, you know, keeping yourself protected, staying healthy, taking vitamins, eating well, getting enough sleep. So those people who work at home, please don't complain. You are s such in a place where you know it's a privileged time for you to spend time with your you know your kids your mom and dad so please don't complain about getting bored at home and not being able to enjoy the sun come on this is just like you know a short-term sacrifice for a long-term you know success of overcoming this whole pandemic outbreak here in the uk and of course not not just in our country but every part of the world are suffering from this coronavirus so as an NHS um, staff I would advise you just follow and obey what's been told um, what to do of doing self-isolation social distancing work at home um, spend time with your loved ones at home obviously your household people not going to different houses you know this this social distancing social um, isolation are just little sacrifices that you just have to make in order for us to get through this and of course we are putting our lives down the line doing our job because this is the life that we we chose to be to look after you guys look after people who needs us the most and you know I work as I work in a dental um, setting but I moved to more critical setting now in order to contribute to what I can do so it's a big step up for me but I'm up for the challenge and everything that I go by you know, when I go to work, what I always do is, you know, be positive and pray. So you guys, please do your part. Because I stayed at work for you. So please, do stay at home. It's as simple as that. No rocket science, guys. And I believe that we we as the people of this country the united kingdom we will get through this trust me we will get through this as long as we cooperate we work together you know we we unify that's it and of course we pray as one we pray for the lord for god to jesus to help us get through this do you remember the verse, the phrase in the Bible that says, 
you know, when Jesus said to his disciples, I am the way, the truth, and the life. If you know God, the Father, then why should you be fearful? Why should you be anxious? Why should you be worry, worried? So yeah. Thank you guys. Keep safe and much love to everyone. Peace.